Welcome to the Trilogy Oil Field Pro-Am Golf Show. I'm Meg Storms. And I'm Jason Strudwick. We've got a great show planned for you today from Jaeger Ridge Golf Course in Southside Edmonton. Since opening in 2002, Jaeger Ridge has brought the secluded countryside into the city. Poised in the White Mud Creek Valley, its lush tree-lined fairways make you forget you are only minutes from downtown. With flowing creeks and serious elevation changes, it takes skill and grace to navigate this track. Fortunately, our guest today oozes skill and grace, professional figure skater David Pelche. Born in Quebec, Quebec, David had early success as a pair skater. After his career hit a bit of a plateau, he was introduced to Jamie Soleil and soon after moved to Edmonton to skate out of the Royal Kenora Club. Two went on to impress Canada and then the world, which culminated with a gold medal performance in the 2002 Salt Lake Olympics, which will always be remembered for the judging scandal. Since then, the pair have been inducted into the Skate Canada and Canadian Olympic Hall of Fame. Please welcome to the show, David Pelletier. Welcome to the show, David. Well, thank you, Jason. It's a pleasure to be here. Are you a big golfer? I'm 5'10", 184 pounds. 5'10"? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is that? I mean, there's no way you're 5'10". No, well, on skates, I'm 6'1", <laughs> but in my mind, I'm 6'5". But anyway, uh, am I a big golfer? I, I absolutely love the game, uh, but I don't play that often, maybe 10 times this season. I was a little thrown off when I first met you because in all those pictures and when you see you and Jamie skate, she's just so little and now I feel like a giant. I'm sorry to disappoint you. That's, that's a, I can blame my parents for my height, but like I said, you know, the height of a man is in the mind. No lifts for us today. Then. Oh, I could lift. I could lift anyone with the right amount of money on the table. I can lift anyone. Well, that might be on our third hole with Mr. Jason Strudwick. We have to do this. Well, we've done it before. Did you have? Uh, no, no, never mind. <laughs> we're not going to start from here, though. We're going to head out to the tenth tee, where we'll meet up with head pro Tyler Rumpel, and he'll give us a pro tip. Here at the beautiful tenth tee at Jagger Ridge Golf Club. I love this shot. You can just bomb it off the tee. <laughs> we're here with head professional Tyler Rumpel. Meg, before we get to Tyler, what have we got going on here today? Well, there's some tees that we can all draw. There's a short tee, a medium tee, and a long tee. If anybody gets the short tee, you're going to have to bomb it off of here and go for the green. The medium tee is a bit of a safer play, and then the long tee is a completely safe shot. We have a lot of trees down here, so before we get to the pro tip today, let's draw our tees. Oh, yeah, medium. Age before beauty. <laughs> Oh, safe shot. Is it? Oh no, I don't want to be safe. For the green. Well, this isn't a big surprise. I got the hero shot again. I guess the best player always has the hardest shot. Tyler, I got to back that up now. I'm going for the hero shot. What does that look like on number 10 here? Well, I don't think it's that hard, Jason. It's okay. just a little, little driver out towards that far bunker there, maybe with a little bit of a, a fade because you're a left-handed golfer. Yeah. We'll get you probably on the green, if not just short of it, and uh, hopefully an easy birdie after that. I'll tell you what, the problem is I draw the ball, so it's going to be a little harder. Well, then I would aim left and hook it over the trees is short of the green, and then that should work. Good advice. Let's see if I can do it. Let's go. Time to make the magic happen. Come on. That looks pretty good. Get around. Nice shot. I'd say you're on. I don't know. Well, let's hope that green's really big. No. Now it's time for my shot. I have a medium shot, and you want me to hit about 200 yards? About 200 yards, Meg, will just leave you a nice little uh, short club into that green. Okay, let's do this. I can't believe you don't have your driver here. Well, I have the medium shot. Oh, 200 yards still. Ooh, skied it, but it's going straight. Nice. Oh, just in the rough. Well, David, this is not that hard a shot. Every shot in golf is hard for me. Okay, well, all you got here is looks like a little six iron. Just hit it over that little ravine there. We'll leave you a uh, um, shot just a little bit longer than Meg's. Okay, no problem. Piece of cake. Cue in the music. I used to make a living wearing very tight, tight outfit and sequence. <laughs> <laughs> and now I have to hit a golf ball in beautiful golf attire. I, I can't feel my hands, my heart. Shut up and hit Peltier. Yep. There's a good shot. Nice, buddy. Good one. Meg and right I? Beside me. I think you, you outdrove okay. me, though. I hold her hand while we go to our balls. Okay? okay. Well, we're going to hold hands on our way there. We'll take a quick break and come back and play with the first hole. Coming up on the Trilogy Oil Field Pro Am Golf Show. What's that guy? What's that guy doing? Oh. <laughs> Camilo Vajegas. <laughs> Like aerobics, eh? <laughs> How many episodes have we had somebody do push ups in now? Trilogy Oil Field Limited, providing oil field rental tools to industry in Alberta and Saskatchewan. 
For product information, visit TrilogyRentals.ca. Welcome back to the Trilogy Oil Field Pro-Am Golf Show. We're here at beautiful Yaga Ridge Golf Course. We're with David Peltier today. We've all hit our first shots on the 10th hole. It's now time for Meg to hit her first shot. She was the shortest. Yeah, well, I know Dave and I are both safe. We still haven't even seen where yours is. Oh, mine's so. okay. Oh, yeah, you figure? <laughs> if you get there first, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Meg, this is an easy shot. I don't know, Jason, it's pretty uh, thick rough. Very thick rough, downhill lie. Oh! Definitely going safe. Oh, too much club. I'm off the back. Ouch. Shoot. Ouch, hard shot. You're out of this hole. That's how you do it. Yeah, dancing. Nice. Nice shot. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That was by far the best, well, figure, single loop that I've ever seen on yeah, a golf course. That was and a you're, single loop, yeah. You're definitely the most graceful golfer that we've had out there. I have, uh, I have a lot of grace. A lot of grace. It wasn't a sow cow? Huh? It wasn't a sow cow? <laughs> no, it wasn't a sow cow, but <laughs> if I putt, I'm putting for birdie. If it goes in, I'll, uh, I'll throw in a single lutz there. Okay. I love it. I love it. <laughs> now listen, you're a very athletic guy. We, we've seen you all compete, but, um, you know, do you get a chance to play much anymore? I play more now than I did. Okay. Uh, the reason why I'm not a very good golfer and I'm a great skater is because I spent most of my summer on the ice, sure. right? Sure. And so now that uh, you know I'm not that busy again with shows or yeah. anything like that, I just play a little bit more. But uh, we, have, we have a five-year-old, yeah. Jesse, and yeah. Jesse started to play at his first uh, golf camp this summer. Oh, wow. So yesterday we played nine holes together. Oh, wow. oh it was, nice. Uh, the best, uh, the best nine holes I've ever had uh, in my life. Oh, we don't count. <laughs> he's, I think he's just, one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he won, yeah. This isn't my favorite kind of shot, but it's not my favorite kind of view. <laughs> it's not a bad flop it shot. It's really good. Oh, could have been better. You're in there. All right. Meg, that's an ugly lie there. Yeah, I know. I'm feeling it. Oh, I feel a little bit of tension between you two. Oh, that's not bad. Nice. Stop now. Ooh, did you just mark your ball with lip gloss? Yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. Did you get my uh, ball marker? Not too many of those out there. No, yeah. I'm, I think I'm the only one. There's one thing that's holding me back from from the life I have now to a $10 million bank account is my putting. <laughs> okay. What's that guy? What's that guy doing? Oh! <laughs> Camilo Vajegas! Like aerobics, eh? <laughs> How many episodes have we had somebody do push-ups in now? No, I'm tired. Okay, watch out. I usually snap hook my butt. This has no chance. Oh. It's supposed to turn. Tiger, what does he do? <laughs> Come on. No, I'm not that powerful. Got a good read off your putt there, Kelche. Yeah, it's not turning. Oh, oh, that's sad. Nancy. Nancy. <laughs> All right, Meg, you need this for a four. Oh, a little aggressive. Someone was hungry. Ugh. Someone was. Hungry. I'll give you that one. Silence. <laughs> oh, oh, it looks like I got a chance here. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's never any doubt there. Good oh. job. Clutch like a young Elvis Stoiko. <laughs> Nicely done. Strudwick wins this one. We're going to come back and play our second hole. Before we do that, we'll meet up with a junior golfer. Hi, I'm Matt McCourt and I play at Drayton Valley Golf and Country Club. I'm 17 and my handicap is 4. My dad got me into the game of golf actually when I was 6 years old and we lived right by the golf course so I could walk down. It was really, really easy for me to get down here every day and then I started playing with him and then playing with his friends and then and then I just started going off by myself, making friends down here and playing the game with them. I, I play probably about five days a week. My dad was a huge influence getting me into the game because he loved it and I could see how much he enjoyed it and that, I knew that's something that I could really enjoy for a long time. Yeah, I actually, I beat my dad for the first time when I was 12 years old by one stroke. <laughs> no, he doesn't like it when I talk about it, but I, I tend to rub it in every once in a while. I love golf because it just calms you and it's so relaxing and so stress-free, really. And it's just on beautiful days, it's, I don't want to do anything else. 
Oh, competition, it's really good. You know, you come out here and you see lots of good golfers, and I, I see the same kids every junior tournament I go to, and it's always great competition. My goals for golf, would I, I would really like to be a scratch golfer by the time I'm 18. That's really a big goal, or goal for me. And then uh, a golf scholarship is kind of the next step. Um, just to be calm and never become overwhelmed on the course. Like, yeah, like you said, if you hit a bad shot, just shake it off and just keep moving forward. Don't let those bad shots hold you back. Practice as much as you can. That would be the best advice I could give to any kid is keep practicing, work on your short game, even though it's maybe the boring, boring part of it. Just always putt, always chip. That's, that's key when it comes to the real game. Coming up on the Trilogy Oil Field Pro-Am Golf Show. You just got outdriven by a figure skater. Hey, I've heard that line many times, okay? I understand golf is a lot in the hips. And I think in figure skating, I made some moves like this once or twice. Trilogy Oil Field Limited, providing oil field rental tools to industry in Alberta and Saskatchewan. For product information, visit TrilogyRentals.ca. Welcome back to the Trilogy Oilfield Pro-Am Golf Show. Today we're at the Yager Ridge Golf Club with David Pelche, former gold medalist at the Olympics in figure skating. After the first hole, not surprising, I am winning. Not surprising at all. Kind of a normal day. I usually start off well, then I fall off very quickly. <laughs> Meg, we're on to our second hole. What have we got going on now? Yeah, it's fitting that you would show up for the last episode of the season. <laughs> Way to go. I hope you win this outright because you could use it. Your ego's just taking a beating in this. It has, it we has. are uh, on the 12th hole at Jaeger Ridge. It's par four. We're going to play it straight up. So, uh, Struds, you have honors. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, let's do it. A lot of waggle. Wow. A little bit left, but that's all right. Oh, you're fine there. Oh, beautiful. Like 180 yards out. All right. Down the middle. Just like an 80 year old. <laughs> I don't know, I got figure skater ends, you know, a little soft. <laughs> Mix that in with the French, and this is what you got. Oh, jeez. Oh, good kick, too. Good shot, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> a little hot. Nice shot. I know. I love it. <laughs> Purple driver, see what you've got. Come on, Johnny Miller, say something. A little extra roll oh, of the I car think pack? You got the car pack. That might be okay. I think I got a little extra roll with it. Yeah. Let's see what you got. We know your past. Everybody knows your past. <laughs> what are you doing now? I go around North America and do golf shows. But <laughs> 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 beautiful people like you. Seriously, I, I teach uh, power skating with uh, Quantum Speed here in Edmonton. I started about uh, two years ago. I still teach a little bit of uh, figure skating, but when my uh, career was done, our career was done, I decided to kind of step out away from the sport and maybe come back with a, a fresher look. And uh, I took this apprenticeship program with Quantum here in Edmonton, and I've never looked back. We're at our first ball here. Is it uh, me, I guess? Yeah, it's I think it's you. Um, you just got outdriven by a figure skater. Hey, I've heard that line many times, okay? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but just because, you know, you're talking. I understand golf. There's a lot in there. <laughs> and I think in figure skating, I made some moves <laughs> like this once or twice. So I have no reason to be a bad golfer. No, all right, no, right. I changed it off. Well, sure, let me go hit my ball while you move your hips. Okay, good. <laughs> 45 degree incline or decline. <laughs> Don't fall off after your backswing. Oh, nice and safe. Man. Yeah, just laying up. Chubby. Nice, safe play. There it is. Oh, good shot. I should catch a corner of the green, huh? I think I got it. <laughs> <laughs> the Look at that balance. You know, how do you do that? Huh? <laughs> All right, we're good. It's the hips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that ever thick? Roll on up there. Skate up there. Get up there. Two shots each, no one on the green. I know, playing bowling today. All right. Can you stick this close? I sure need to. Oh, wow. Silky. Nah, no, that's the anchor. not fair. Drop anchor. I would take that. Shot. Wow. Very competitive. You show up for the last episode. Very competitive. 
be oh. French have stuff ends like that. <laughs> well, well, well. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, a little far. She didn't bite, Meg. No, she didn't bite at all. It's a greasy putt. You know what blows my mind about golf? What's that? You know, for so many years they said, Tiger is in his own world, his brain is so strong, he can focus and be in the zone and not see what's going on. And then somebody farts in the audience, and then he has to stop his swing. That's crazy. <laughs> Do you think you would have gotten it on the green had you not talked during your last shot? No, I don't think that's going to make a difference. Oh, boy. Now, yeah, see? I might run right. You're yeah, still using tickle. that lip gloss. <laughs> what am I at? What are you shooting for? Par. Par. Really? Oh, no. Actually, that's really good. It breaks a lot. Not bad at all. <laughs> you need this one, buddy. I can't do this. I, I, can't. I can't. I just can't. Well, you know what? We'll give that to you. You're up, Strud. Looks like it's me. Let's see, where's my bomb marker? You and your lip gloss. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's not even close. Oh my I'm god. I'm not giving you that one, by the way. No. That's far. You have to do this. You can't do it. You can't do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make this to win, to tie it, or I win the match, win the win. You can't do it. <laughs> Is that it? Is that it? I'm not high-fiving you for that crap. I'll give you that one. Oh, thanks. All right, so you win this one. Are we going to do a double or nothing on the last one? Make Dave and I have a shot can, at can it? Can I like, just be involved in this? Well, we got to bet for something. OK, well, we'll, we'll come it. up with I got something. It. I, I, I got an idea. I got okay, an idea. We'll All sit right. on that for a second. Okay. Okay. We'll come back. We'll play the next hole. Before we do that, here's an obscure rule of golf. <laughs> As you approach the bunker you just sailed your tee shot into, you notice that not all is lost and your ball appears to have a good lie. As fate would have it, a gust of wind kicks up and blows some pine cones off a nearby tree. One of them happens to land directly behind your ball. However, Rule 13-4 states you may not remove the new object because it was not placed there by an act from an outside agent. Rather, it is a natural phenomenon and must be played as it lies. Coming up on the Trilogy Oil Field Pro-Am Golf Show. He's gonna jump, I'm gonna lift you, just jump, jump. Okay, you gotta jump a little bit more than that. A little bit of a sense of urgency. Okay, that's good, we're working on timing. One more time, then you go up, okay? Don't cry, don't panic. Okay, that's good. Trilogy Oil Field Limited, providing oil field rental tools to industry in Alberta and Saskatchewan. For product information, visit TrilogyRentals.ca. All right, we're going for pride here on our very final challenge. I've won five challenges. Strudwick has won three. You basically can't come back and win this at all, but you could feel better about yourself. I had you on the ropes. I had my foot on your throat and I let go. <laughs> and uh, I'm now down. There's no chance me to win, but my dad used to tell me champions never quit. Okay, let's do this up. We're doing a paper break challenge. You can see behind us, we have these set up. It's basically whoever can hit it the fastest. Break that paper first is the winner of this one. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. Okay, ready, set, go. Oh. Ooh, that was <laughs> All right, that was. Boom. Boom. Are you kidding? That is how you do it. I didn't even get oh. a shot off. <laughs> Champion, just like that. Thank you. Thank you very much. A, a bit of redemption. It's Thank been you. fun. That Take was some awesome nine challenges that we did. That was good. That, that was, was very good. fun. So I win five, you win four. I'll take it. But I won the important one. <laughs> sure. Good work, Struts. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was awesome. Two I shots. Is I that a record? Be. That must be a record, you guys. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back to the Trilogy Oilfield Pro-Am Golf Show. Today we're at Yago Ridge, a golf club on the south side with Mr. David Pelche, gold medal winner. But today I'm the gold medal winner. I've won both holes, I've dominated you guys from first to second, and now we're on to the third hole. 
It's not really gonna be fun playing this third hole if I'm just gonna win it automatically. You guys got any ideas? I actually do have a really good idea. Okay, that's weird. Well, <laughs> you're, you're too excited. What's going on? I know, on? I am very excited about this. You said at the beginning of the show that you could lift anybody. Yes, that's very true. How about this tall drink of water right Wait, here? Why do I have to get Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think that's a great idea, and I'm getting excited now. <laughs> Are you ready for it? So basically, if I lift you with a smile on my face, yeah. we're all back to even. Yes. Even you, because you came up with the idea? Yes. Are you ready, boy toy? <laughs> I have faith in you, let's do it. Okay, ready? Okay, what am I doing? Just jumping? You just jump, don't scream, don't panic, keep holding my wrist and crank. Okay, ready? ready? No. Caddy, you gave me the wrong club again. <laughs> too strong, too strong. Oh, that's good. That's pretty good. That's Meg. very good, Meg. Get down. A little deep. Oh, a little deep as well. Green's open for you. Oh boy. Oh boy, Come what? Come right. Come around. Oh, look at that kick. <laughs> None of us are so good about the whole greens and reg thing today. A lot of kids grow up thinking that they're going to be the next NHLer. You chose figure skating. How come? Well, that's a good question, and I did not choose figure skating. It was chosen for me. It was uh, my mom's dream. Really? Uh, to figure skate, and she had three boys. And so in my town, if you were a girl, you figure skated. If you were a boy, you played hockey. And if you were a Peltier, you did both. <laughs> so the three, me and my two brothers ended up figure skating. And I once met a lawyer and I didn't have a case to sue her for that. So <laughs> I uh, decided to keep going and I hated it. I hated it with a passion. As much as I learned to, I learned to love it uh, later on, after the 88 Olympics, I saw pair skating on TV. And I said to my mom, no, if you want me to stick with this and let me lift girls. So yes, you're right. A lot of guys, a lot of guys uh, grew up thinking uh, my dream is to lift the Stanley Cup. I ended up lifting girls, and after the Olympics, I ended up getting paid really well to lift girls. And now I lift guys on golf course, and I get paid nothing to do it. You end up with a gold, but it wasn't the easiest way to get there. Do you think that Soleil and Pelche will always go hand in hand with that judging scandal? I think so. I think so. And uh, it happened to us. I mean, we were. I, I don't want to say a victim, we're just thrown into it. Yeah. Probably because uh, we were able to handle it. And uh, we decided to have fun with it. I mean, it was out of our control anyway. You know, it's some, uh, like in your job or your job, if you have one, you, you can only control <laughs> what you can control. A lot of things are out of your control and this was out of our control. We went there and to, to, to skate two clean programs, which we did, and the rest was you know, somebody else's decision. Yeah. yeah. And they decided, you know, five days after that we were good enough to basically fool them to believe that we deserve the gold medal too. <laughs> and I, I was okay with that. And to be honest, I was okay with uh, the silver medal too, because it's, it's so cliche, but you know, if you go back to the movie Cool Running, if, if you're not enough with, with uh, without the gold, you won't be enough with it anyway, so. Did you get to keep both? No, no, they <gasps> picked up the silver. <laughs> and you know, funny story is we wanted to know a couple of years after, where were those silver medals? Yeah. So we write, uh, we wrote a nice letter to the IOC and we didn't get a nice answer back yet. <laughs> so it's in somebody's living room. Never mind. I have a feeling that some IOC member walks around naked with it every day out of the shower. <laughs> Look at this. I love it. Well, on that thought, here we are at Strudwick's second shot. That's yeah, that, well, yeah, it's a pretty good shot. So you guys, uh, we're all off the green. We got to make this, yeah. get it tight. Up and down yeah, challenge. Yeah, yes, it is. All right, let's do it. Firm. A little aggressive. Still eh? off the green. Yeah. Green's still open. Damn it, didn't want to be short. Not in my best shot today. Folks, I am going to try a flop shot. Perfect. I've seen Phil Mickelson do it. Yeah. I don't think I can, but if I do, I'm a hero. 
Yeah. If I don't, well, I just feel like myself every single day <laughs> <laughs> on a golf course. Okay, this is very hard. Okay, let's see what you got. Okay, and you can't back up. You got to commit to it. Oh, oh no, it is actually great. <laughs> now I don't know what to uh, how to react to this. Actually, well, it's not that good. No, it's not that great. But you know, yeah. what do you mean it's not that great? Well, you're not gonna putt are that. Are you in. gonna sink that? No, I, I'm three putt zone. <laughs> What's the strategy, Meg? Flop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I showed you how, so it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah. Phil showed me how. Oh, that's even better than mine. Look at this. Sickening. I'm a little sick to my stomach. Oh, did I get it close? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta give you a little bit of love. That was pretty good. All right. Have you ever felt such intense pressure going into a putt? Final I, hole. I gotta last drop episode. this. He leaves it short. Oh Actually, no. no. A little downhill. Actually, that was really good. Pretty good. I was gonna yeah. laugh at you when it started and, yeah. and then it got there. I don't there. want this to happen. Oh. Can you just talk a little more? Oh, jeez. I didn't even know that you were getting ready to putt. That's what they do. I was reminiscing on the fact that this is our last episode and I'm a little upset that this is it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay, Meg, here you are. I would normally give this to you, but because it's the last shot there, you have to drop it. It is for the win. With our buddy Dave here. <sighs> I'm sentimental. Are you a little upset? It's if over. If you win, what do you get? All the pride in the world. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if you make it. I'm pretty sure you should be able to make this one. All right, well done. Wow. Congratulations. Done. Well done. Done. We got some claps in the thank background you. too. David, That's kind of nice. Thank you for coming out today. Oh, Jason, Fantastic. it was really a great good. pleasure to, really good. to spend uh, six hours with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming out. That was so much fun. We really went out on a bang. I never knew you had such a big personality. It's, uh, <laughs> wow. You know, it's it's fun. Life is fun, and thank you for having me. It was a pleasure and. Uh, Invite me for your uh, curling show. <laughs> Actually, second thought, don't. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to thank all of you for watching. We had such a great season doing this, and we're looking forward to coming back and doing it again next season. Maybe I'll have a better co-host then. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Maybe, maybe Dave will be my co-host then. Oh, okay. just, that, yeah. would be, that would be an upgrade. You guys are both invited back. Okay, How about that? Thank you. Okay, that sounds good. We want to thank Jaeger Ridge as well and their head pro here, Tyler Rumpel. And keep in mind that you can always watch all of our past episodes on YouTube and a whole bunch of extras as well. Thanks for watching. The Trilogy Oil Field Pro-Am Golf Show is proudly sponsored by Trilogy Oil Field Limited, providing oil field rental tools to industry in Alberta and Saskatchewan. It's hard for me to keep my hands off you. <laughs> um, what am I even going to say? I gotta, I gotta... Welcome. How you doing today? Okay, I guess that's all right. All right. Listen, if I make contact, I'm happy. Now you want me to actually aim for a tree? A young Elvis Toiko. <laughs> Very clutch. A young, taller Cranston. <laughs> it wasn't going to hit you. I killed our guest. The dentist? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Is that it? Is that it? I'm high-fiving you for that crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And he's got the smile too. And now this is the best part. <laughs> <laughs> hey, landing. Back to even par.